डाइट्री डेफिशिएंसी फर्स्ट इज ऑब्वियसली डाइट्री डेफिशिएंसी डाइट्री डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ व्हाट विटामिन डी इफ विटामिन डी इज नॉट सफिशिएंट इन डाइट और यू आर नॉट गेटिंग एनफ विटामिन डी व्हाट विल हैपन कैल्शियम वोंट गेट अब्सॉर्ब्ड फॉस्फेट वोंट गेट अब्सॉर्ब्ड दे वोंट गेट डिपॉजिटेड इन द बोन कॉजिंग डिफेक्टिव मिनरलाइजेशन ऑफ बोन हेंस रिकेट्स सिमिलरली इफ देयर इज डाइट्री डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ कैल्शियम और फॉस्फेट इट कैन आल्सो रिजल्ट इन रिकेट्स नाउ इफ the absorption is fine let's say but there are excessive renal losses so renal losses are an important cause of renal losses of calcium is there let's say it's an important cause of rickets other thing obviously can be that a dietary deficiency is not there you're taking abnormal normal amount of calcium and phosphate and vitamin d in diet but that is not getting absorbed so malabsorption can also malabsorption can also cause rickets Okay, so these are the causes of rickets. Now let's discuss about the features, clinical features of rickets, in particular to vitamin D deficiency. In particular to vitamin D deficiency. Okay, so we are discussing vitamin D deficiency causing rickets. Okay, but these clinical features of rickets can occur in any cause of rickets. Remember, rickets is not vitamin D deficiency. Rickets is whenever there is poor mineralization of bone. anything that causes poor mineralization of growing bones remember growing is important because if there is poor mineralization of already grown bone or found bone it is called as osteomalacia not rickets okay so what are the clinical features of vitamin d deficiency rickets or any rickets for that matter first is that there will be defective mineralization of the cranial bones so there will be what is called as craniotabies there will be what is called as craniotabies which is nothing but soft skull which is nothing but soft skull also called as ping pong skull also called as ping pong skull remember craniotabies is the earliest sign it's the first sign as far as rickets and vitamin d deficiency is concerned okay the second thing that can happen is there can be delayed anterior fontanelle closure and widely spaced out sutures there can be delayed af anterior fontanelle closure obviously because mineralization is not occurring डिलेड एंटीरियर फॉन्टेनल क्लोजर और वाइडली स्पेस्ड सूचर्स ओके नाउ वेन देर इज गोइंग टू बी डिफेक्टिव मिनलाइजेशन इन द चेस्ट दैट इज द रिक द रिब्स वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन द थ्री थिंग्स दैट आर गोइंग टू हैपन द फर्स्ट इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज द रिकेटिक रोजरी नाउ रिकेटिक रोजरी बेसिकली रेफर रोजरी बेसिकली रेफर रोजरी इज वॉट बीड्स राइट so there are bead beads like formation on the ribs why these beads like formation occur at the costochondral junction the costochondral junction has excessive uh, you know excessive uh, cartilage formation because that cartilage is not getting mineralized because there is vitamin d deficiency okay so in the ribs there is costochondral junction you understand that that costochondral junction is made up of cartilage normally that cartilage will get calcified if there is a you know vitamin d there calcium is there but if there is deficiency of that that cartilage won't get mineralized it will expand and that expansion will result in that bead like formation which is referred to as rickettic rosary apart from rickettic rosary there can be harrison sulcus and there can be pigeon chest or pectus carinatum 